Welcome to another episode of A-List Classics, where we talk about must-see movies that are considered to be the greatest films of all time. I am your host, the Game Changer, Wes Truth. We're heading back in our mint-flavored time machine to the year 2013 and found a film that's actually very fitting for this weekend, being that it's Father's Day. This is the 2013 comedy drama, Nebraska. In Billings, Montana, Woody Grant, an elderly gentleman, believes he's won a million dollar sweepstakes prize and keeps trying to sneak out of the house, avoiding his wife Kate, and trying to walk all the way to Lincoln, Nebraska. Kate calls their son David, a stereo store salesman, to pick Woody up at the police station after an officer found him walking on the side of the road. David quickly realizes that the sweepstakes letter is a scam to get people to subscribe to magazines. However, after Woody is determined to get to Nebraska, David decides to drive him there himself. David and Woody go on a road trip and make a few quick stops along the way and end up staying a few days in Woody's hometown of Hawthorne, Nebraska, much to Woody's dismay. The father and son duo visit extended family and see some old faces from Woody's past who he tells that he's about to become a millionaire. As the word spreads around the small town, Kate and her and Woody's other son, Ross, come to Hawthorne as some of the patriarch's old friends and family members begin wanting to be repaid for things from the past from Woody's supposed upcoming fortune. Nebraska is a bleak, touching, funny, and fantastic dramedy. The film is directed by Alexander Payne, known for other hits such as About Schmidt, Sideways, and The Descendants, and just like those other projects, he does an amazing job behind the helm here. Nebraska had its premiere at Cannes on May 23rd, 2013, where it was nominated for the Palme d'Or, the grand, or the Grand Prize, and was released in the United States on November 15th, 2013. The movie is presented in black and white, which may seem like an odd choice, but its old school look definitely pays off and gives it a cool feeling as Woody goes through his past. The story is rather simple, but also very powerful, with its extremely real feel, including characters that very well might remind you of people you know or may be related to. The sweepstakes makes the unhappy Woody thrilled and really gives him a reason to live. We also see that he's dealing with a lot of regrets along the way from being an alcoholic or not always being the best father or husband. It's great that we get to discover more about the character right along with David as he finds out what about his experiences in war and dating life before he met his mother. There's also some exceptional material as David tries to rekindle his relationship and spend more time with his father along the trip. Of course, there's highs and lows throughout, and while they argue and bicker a lot, the two begin to share a bond and begin to learn things about each other. There's also quite a few heartfelt moments, but it never gets overly sappy or too sentimental. It also has a handful of witty, even sometimes hilarious scenes throughout, usually coming from Kate, such as where the family is at the cemetery, and she begins commenting on the relatives who have passed on. Things also get interesting when people from Woody's life start popping in and out of the story after hearing of his quote-unquote winnings from jealous family members to old business partners and friends looking for a handout. The pace can be slow at times, and certain viewers may find parts to be a bit boring, uh, such as scenes where the family is just gathered around watching television and chatting, but I enjoyed some of the more simple scenes overall. The cast does a spectacular job, giving us superb acting, and the chemistry is there, feeling like they're a real dysfunctional family. Bruce Stern stars as Woody Grant, the alcoholic elderly father who thinks he's won a million dollar prize and is obsessed with getting to Lincoln, Nebraska to collect the money. Will Forte as David Grant, Woody's youngest son who takes his father on the trip even though he knows it's a scam and learns more about his past. June Squibb as Kate Grant, Woody's wife, who has become annoyed with Woody and keeps threatening to put him in a home. 
Bob Odenkirk as Ross Grant, Woody and Kate's eldest son, who's a local television news anchor, and Stacy Keach as Ed Pegram, Woody's friend and former business partner. The film was nominated for six Academy Awards, including Best Picture, Best Director for Payne, Best Actor for Dern, Best Supporting Actress for Squib, Best Original Screenplay, and Best Cinematography. Nebraska is an enchanting, believable, slice-of-life film and an emotional journey worth taking. All right, well, that's the show. I'll be back with another episode of A-List Classics very soon. But until then, don't forget to subscribe right here on YouTube. YouTube.com slash Westside of 515. Like the show on Facebook, Facebook.com slash West Troop A-List. And of course, you can follow me on the Twitter and the Instagram at West A-List. Until next time, Troop.